Hey there lovely people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time check is 2 a.m. here and I'm doing a little bit of uh, slow talking which is not usually what I do. I'm a little bit unwell, keep me in your prayers. I've been trying to rest, taking medication but the diabetes has gone out of control and it's affecting my other, you know, uh, like aspect of the physical, you know, thing, right? So I'm having a little bit of a kidney pain and uh, trying to like take medication and feel better. I'm back to my medication days, uh, but I think I need two, three days to get rid of this UTI problem. Hopefully it will be good, but it's very painful. Those who have it, I really pray you get better. So seven fragrances list today, and these seven fragrances are going to be particularly, particularly for winter. Uh, since winter is coming and I can smell like in the air, weather is changing, a little bit of a dust, a little bit of warmth in the day, but it's breezy in the afternoon, evening. So yeah, I, I give, I'm giving you a little bit of a different price brackets, like affordable to a little bit expensive so you can try them some of them are new some of them are old from my collection and these fragrances are mostly um like particularly they'll be really good for winter let me show you what they are one by one first fragrance is zeno davidoff for davidoff's zeno so these versions are the newer uh like formulations uh, they have been in the market for i think now seven eight years before this they had a vintage one that one was long time back you cannot find those anymore if you do, price will be very high. But I think what I smell in this is just absolutely nice classic fragrance. This one is Johnny Depp signature scent once. It said, I don't know how much is that rumor is true, but this is a barber shop slash coffee. Um, you can say that it's similar to Tom Ford's Boudi Jour in a way, but more dark. Okay. So if you cannot afford Tom Ford Boudi Jour, go for it. This has lavender, some spices and darkness maybe patchouli and then this coffee note which makes it stand out very nice perfume um but not for everyday wear okay so first one is zeno davidoff you can try this for colder months especially evening time it's a good fragrance to wear and for the price bracket this is a very nice perfume i think you get good value for money i think it's more than 100 mil maybe 110 or something forgot cannot read see the state of the sticker can you read anything i can't <laughs> so so number two <clears throat> is going to be this my favorite classic also aramis for men simply aramis for men look at the bottle you can see it is that old school look at the atomizer it's not from this era this is definitely a mas masculine mature man's fragrance uh, you get a fair bit of uh, lemon and spices it's spicy it is like a barbershop style perfume but uh, you also get reminded of uh, old spice if you know that aftershave i get that vibe from this and it has perhaps leather or something sorry uh, the perfume lasts a very long time like aramis fragrances are cheap now it's around 35 dollars to 40 now it used to be 25 but aramis's fragrances always perform really well but it's not for everybody especially the opening is nice but the dry down goes very old school like 40 year old this kind of men would like that i feel it's a father figure sort of perfume you can definitely try it you'll see this in mature men's like 35 40 plus men they would keep them in their cupboard or their shower sometimes uh, as a maybe after shave or perfume to wear after shower great fragrance for colder months aramis for him spicy citrusy lavender barbershop <clears throat> the third one i'm going to show you i have only a <coughs> sorry tester version of it i just put a cap from my other bottle from the same line this is uh, mercedes-benz le parfum this bottle comes with fantastic packaging and this cap is from i think the cologne mercedes benz cologne but uh, this one they have a uh, brown or black this this part okay so color combination will be different i'm just i got it like this okay i bought it like this okay so it would come like a toilet paper roll or something but it looks nice at least with the cap so this perfume the leather casing they give it is on a different level you open it from the side it's more premium than other mercedes-benz intense for men or mercedes-benz for men this is very nice this is underrated perfume no one talks about maybe guys like chad who love car company fragrances uh, this one has this uh, leather raspberry in a certain way oh man the security guard is crazy he is just crazy you don't have to blow whistle every day you can hear it i think it's the mic you do that just anyway so this one I compared with a little bit of Tuscan leather, but the fruitiness is a lot more and it's not really a Tuscan leather dupe. You can say maybe younger brother to Tuscan leather, 
So you get kind of like a sour citrusy note and then the raspberry, some fruits and the leather tone is very wearable. You can also wear this in summer, I think. It has good longevity. Juice color is very nice as well. It has a golden colored juice. So it's a playful night out fragrance. You can say if Tuscan leather was made like 1 million party going or clubbing, this would be a fragrance. Okay. So this is discount nude. Prices are very expensive, $80 for this. Uh, it's not cheap, but uh, Mercedes-Benz Le Parfum, you can give it a try. <clears throat> so not that just a kidney issue. I have also having this cold issue because I had some thing, mostly sugar cane juice. That's very bad for your diabetes. So number four is Marge. Okay. I have to keep showing this because this is such a scary fragrance in a way. Those who want performance, just get this from Ahmed Al Maghribi and see the performance. If you don't get performance out of this, I'm sorry, man, no fragrance will suit you. The fragrances do not like you. Uh, this perfume, I really wished this fragrance was 100 mil. Uh, that would be a beautiful, beautiful deal because this is expensive for the price. $65, $75 for, I think, 60 mil. Or how much is this bottle? Maybe 60 or 80. Can't read. 60 mil bottle. And I took the longest time to buy this and be shy because they are not the cheapest. I really need to know if I want them, then I blind bought them. So this one, it's it's very weird smelling. It's very fruity, but it's also very much like a floral. It's very hard to describe. The opening is very beautiful. I really like the way it opens, but the dry down is the challenge. You know, if you enjoy um, the, just check out my review. You'll see my description. And this one smells basically like this kind of, this, uh, you see this color, the cap, whatever it has. It's like a plum or something in there this makes it very unique so if you can stand that note it will be great for winter this will project like rasa sishura you know those beast ones it's like those right so marge is amazing i would say it's a unique fragrance and it's not for everybody but if you uh, like the smell it will be really good because it performs well and the 60 mil will run you for a long time number three mansara amor cafe uh, this fragrance i loved it a lot when i bought it and I still love it the same. It's just so beautiful. It's a, uh, again, like a fun fragrance. It is sweet cormon. Um, you can say coffee, sweet coffee, uh, some desserts. It's it's a sweet bakery time. I just like it. It's just easy to wear. Super beast mode. In winter, this one, I, w I think you should wear this in winter. Summertime, I wore this. I got headaches from it, man. It's too potent, okay? And those people who like it, like Montal and Mansara, this is one of the best performers, okay? So in winter time, December, January, perfect time to wear this. Wear this in Valentine's Day, it will be very, very sweet, <laughs> literally. So Amor Cafe by Mansara is number three. Um, my mouth is drying up, man. Oh, okay. So the number two, my most complimented fragrance nowadays, anywhere I go, people ask me, what you're wearing? And I'm not making this up. Uh, I literally got asked like what are you wearing because it's filling up the whole shop second i got a compliment someone said whatever he's wearing he has the shopkeeper i want to buy that he didn't have it which is called hawas black okay this is the new rasasi and this fragrance is creating waves uh, yes i will update it i did compare it with ratio and i said this is a winner because of value in every way so this is more of a hachiva than aventus absolute and i would say if you like those fragrances get this new hachiva batches are so weak i mean compared to the prices they used to be cheaper and more beast mode now they are more expensive and you know weaker no point buying hachiva get this this one projects like nobody's business so yes it's a familiar smell you smell this before like aventus dna got the pineapple uh got the you know that oak moss you know it has a little bit of a fruitiness tartness but this fragrance good lord it projects okay so in winter, this will be perfect. Even in summer, you can wear. It projects. It doesn't mind whatever weather. How was black is the last, second last one. And the very first one today I'm going to pick over everything else is the quality I bought recently in a niche perfume. And this perfume I love a lot. I think I just wait for one particular day when the morning is going to be cold or evening. I'm going to put this on. Amarud. Uttabak, I think. Oh, yeah, Uttabak. Okay. This is a fragrance. This is similar to Tom Ford's Tobacco Veni. But it's so much more interesting than tobacco penny. It's more wearable, really beast mode, no issue. The performance is dark, it's beautiful. Just that, try to find a tester because these can be expensive, like 200 something dollars. It's not worth that money. But again, you get, if you buy full presentation, you get a pouch, you get a box, very nice niche style presentation. You can see all quality, no cheap plastic, nothing. 
so this fragrance man if you like tobacco mm, yeah it's at night time it's just like a more you know like let's say i have seen the movie terminator terminator 1 terminator 2 but the new terminator that comes out the younger terminator he's so much more upgraded you know he they use the new model and all not arnold schwarzenegger but this reminds me of the new terminator okay it's just a very modern <laughs> style uh, tobacco veni uh, tobacco veni has some other ones dupes but this is one of the best ones it has actually its own smell as well check out my review this is called oud tabak okay this is one of the best fragrance i bought for this winter thank you so much for watching i wanted to do continue but not getting the energy perhaps after up up uploading this i will just uh, uh, go to sleep again because i need plenty of rest i've been running around a lot to make content perhaps it's taking a toll as well have a nice day keep in your prayers i'll see you soon all right and uh, stay safe bye bye